You just downloaded a zip file from the internet. You decide to take a look inside the file to see what's going on. Inside the file, you see two different files, one named video.mp4 and another one named image.png. But you are smart and you decide to see whether the show file extension option is enabled on your Windows machine. And sure enough, it absolutely is. So you decide to open the image.png first and it shows a cute picture of a cat. But then you take a look at the video.mp4. It does have a weird image, but at the end of the day, it's still an mp4 file so you decide to open it and as soon as you double click on the file oh and if you want to learn hacking then check out my course which is down in the description box below now let's get started with the video so exactly what you saw in the video here I have the actual example so to just verify if I click view you can see that file name extensions as well as hidden items are both enabled so nothing fishy going on and to prove that there is no RLO character present we can click rename on one of these images for example and we can see that this is an actual PNG and I can even write and you see that I'm writing okay and in terms of video we can right click and rename and we can still see that this is actually an mp4 and the writing also works pretty damn good okay so both of these files are looking normal except that the video looks a bit of a short a bit like a shortcut but that's beside the point it probably could contain another video here which is a legit video but from the introduction you saw that i opened this image and of course it is a cute kitty and we can close that up but if I open the mp4 file, we see a calculator pop open because I programmed this malware to do that instead of stealing my stuff. So this is something that some of you might already know, but some of you don't. So we're going to be just vaguely going over this, so how it works and how you can prevent this from happening to you. So what you just did is basically ran malware, but you did everything correctly almost. You checked the file extensions. It is actually enabled, so there's no tampering. There's obviously proof of that here. It's a PNG and here is an MP4. So how the hell does an MP4 execute a malware, which is just not installed anywhere on the computer? Well, there is something interesting going on here, which I'm going to explain to you. Here is the actual executable which I'm executing and as you can see this is exe and obviously if I run it it opens up a calculator so how did I turn this into an mp4 file which once you click rename it still stays an mp4 whereas here if I click rename it's an exe how the hell did I turn that into an mp4 file well it's actually very simple and you probably need to understand a bit more technicality of this so before I actually dive into this I want to actually educate you on something when you, for example, want to create a, for example, you're playing a game. Imagine that this right here is a game, but you have to go obviously to this PC, to desktop, to the, the, the folder where it is, or maybe not even desktop, maybe in download or documents. So you need to go and search for the game every time you want to run it. What you want to do actually is just right click on this and basically create a shortcut, which will create you a shortcut, as you can see, to that game, to that game, for example. And then once you put this on desktop and run it, it will execute the game basically for you. So you don't actually have to go through the hassle. But have you ever wondered what even is this right here? So can you rename this? Of course you can. Can you put, for example, PNG here? Of course you can. And now this looks like an actual PNG. See this, see these two. They're, they're looking in, they're looking interestingly the same. They both have this shortcut thing. So this must be a shortcut too. But why doesn't it have a logo? And why is it just looking weird? Well, have you ever wondered what is the file type of a shortcut in general? Well, let me show you. So let me just clone this video.exe file. So I'll clone it. And ha if you're wondering what is a shortcut for basically what is a, a file extension for shortcuts, there is one, obviously, and it's called .pip. And as soon as I do this, .pif, hit rename, yes please, boom, look at that. Now it just says video copy and it's a shortcut to an MS-DOS program which is embedded within the shortcut. And you basically don't need to have a video here anywhere present on the operating system, I can even delete it right now, and this will still work fine. Because it embeds a program within itself, if that makes sense. But okay, so you're wondering probably, why is this image.png here? What's, what's the purpose of it? Well, to throw you off. To make you believe that the view show file extensions thing is actually working. Because if this wasn't there, then you probably would think that this is somehow tampered. But with this here, you you will drag your, basically, it will drag your mind and attention to something else. And it might even trick you into believing that this is actually a thing. 
or even in worst case scenarios, this could be actually a video and this is a kind of like a shortcut to the video, if that makes sense. So you might run both of them to just see what happens and boom, you're now infected with malware. So in other cases, if you ever see something like this and you just check the extension and it's it's like something you can run, don't run it because sometimes I think even this logo can be manipulated, although I'm not 100% certain, but it definitely can. So the best, the best thing to go about it is to right click on anything, go to properties and then just go to see what even is it. In this case, it's a PNG file. But in this case, if I click right click on the properties, it is a shortcut to the MS-DOS program. As you can see, it's .pif, but the .pif is hidden by default to not confuse you or for, for some odd reason, Windows just allows this. So yeah, hopefully you learned something today in today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.